Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Do I know? That was Doc G, the owner, the owner of the station, Doc G. It's so nice to meet you, Doc G. Say, say hello, uh, Henry. All right. So um, I'm going to just jump right into this message, but first let me pray. Father, hide me behind the cross. There'll be none of me but all of you. Spit that this was a clay. Let everybody leave here singing, I got just what I wanted and more from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I would like to just basically tell my testimony as well as doing this message together. I'm going to do the both of them together for those who have never heard my testimony. Okay, go ahead. First uh, Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 11. I want you to know whoever you are, whatever you're going through right now, God can change the situation around. God can fix whatever you're into right now because God is love and God is offering His grace to you today. You know, one thing people need to understand about the prodigal son is when the son came back to the father, the father wasn't looking to beat him over the head and say, look what you messed up. You messed up. But, you know, the father was looking to love on him. God's looking to love on people today. I don't care how deep in sin you are. I don't care what your sin is. God is offering you forgiveness today of sin at the name of Jesus. So, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, do you not know that unrighteous and the wrongdoers will not inherit or have any share in the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, misled, neither the impure or immoral, nor adulterers, nor adulteresses, nor those participating in homosexuality, nor cheats, swindlers, or thieves, nor greedily, greedy gossipers, graspers, nor robbers will inherit or have any share in the kingdom of God. Such were some of you, such were some, that's past tense, like the Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That's past tense. Thank you, Jesus. And such were some of you once, but you were washed clean, purified a con by a complete atonement for sin and made free from the guilt of sin. And you were consecrated, set apart, hallowed, and you were justified, pronounced righteous by trusting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the Holy Spirit of our God. So I want to start out by saying this in the message. I want to entitle this, this quick message, Such Were Some of You. I know I was a, one time I was a liar. I was an adulterer, a blasphemer, but God redeemed me. Let me tell you, if he can redeem me, I was actually bisexual before God redeemed me. It's a mindset that needs to be brought, you know, bisexuality, homosexuality, that's a mindset that needs to be broken and can only be broken by the power of Jesus Christ. It's, God wants to give us a new mind. The Bible says, let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus. God wants us washed by the water of the word in our mind. Ephesians 5.26 He wants us washed. He don't want us bound up in our mind. He said, let this mind that's in Christ be in you. He wants us to be free in our mind, free in our heart. And you know, God wants everybody listening to know He loves them. No matter where you're at in this life, God wants you to know how loved you are. Amen? Amen. Amen, Dr. He loves us. Amen. Because look at this. A lot of people go into blatant sin, into witchcraft, because they're looking for love. They're looking for somebody to give them the answer. Mm -hmm. I'm here today on the Jersey Shore Angel Show to tell you, everybody listening, Jesus is the answer. He's the only answer. He's the only healer there is. Jesus Christ can set you free. And some people listening to me, God's been dealing with you in your dreams 
and I know it already that God sent me here to tell you that he knows the plans that he thinks toward you, says the Lord. Thoughts of good and not of evil, Jeremiah 29 and 11. He knows the plans that he, th he thinks toward you, good things. God's thinking good things towards you right now. The Bible says that God waves his banner over us and his banner is love. Amen. So let me just say this. No matter what you're going through, you might be into sexual sin. You might be into all kinds of witchcraft, whatever it is. God loves you and he wants to deliver you from that today. He is the answer. And you know, I tell you this, I used to be, I used to be when I was a young, young boy, about 12 or 13, I was into cross dressing, but I traded cross dressing for the cross. Because I was molested as a child. But God took what the devil meant for my evil and he turned it around for his good, for his glory. For my good, he, he done something in my life. He made me a man. He took me from bisexuality and cross-dressing into the man. Huh? He purified your soul, Reverend. He did. He purified me. He made me perfect. Now, I want to say this real quick. It said that he has made us free from the guilt of sin. But a lot of people are still feeling guilty for the sin they used to be in. It's time that we come out of the sin, out of the shame, and be set apart by God. We're a peculiar people. That's why people don't understand us all the time. We're peculiar. We're strange to them. Because, you know, and I tell you this, for those in the New Age listening, you know, there's only one God in the spirit world, and that's the Holy Spirit. There's only one God that will never mislead you, and that's the Holy Ghost. He will guide you into all truth if you'll let him. Jesus is his name. The Holy Spirit, Ruach Rakodesh, that, the Holy Spirit of God, Jesus Christ will lead you into all truth. He is the leader of all truth. And he's listening for your call right now. If you're, if you're needing salvation, if you're needing mercy, whatever you're going through, God can deliver you. God can free you. And I'm not here to preach a message of condemnation, but of redemption. I was redeemed from the evil wretch that I was. Amen. You know, you know, sister. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you have, do, amen, do you have a site to where people can go to? I do. Uh, my Facebook page, uh, Henry uh, Robert Kidd on Facebook, or they can go to my YouTube channel and watch my videos. Um, you can type in Brother HR on the YouTube bar and find me. Okay. Lead us into prayer, Reverend. Yes, ma'am, I sure will. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you. If you're lost or backslidden, you're listening to this show, pray with me. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe you died on the cross, that God the Father raised you from the dead in Jesus' name. I believe you. I accept you. And I forsake all others. I forsake every bit of witchcraft every bit of pharmacia, I forsake it. That's drugs, mental drugs. I forsake it in Jesus' name. And I put my life in your hands in the name of Jesus. I believe you died on the cross that God the Father raised you from the dead. And I am saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, before I close, I would like to pray one more prayer for those sick or bound. Go ahead. Father, for those sick in their body, I curse every devil of sickness. I command every spirit of pharmacia, every spirit of witchcraft to turn their body loose, to turn their mind loose. In Jesus' name, I bind every symptom and every sickness. Lord, you said he who the sun sets free is free indeed. We are free because of the blood of Jesus. That's why I shared a little bit of my testimony. Because we are made perfect 
By the blood of Jesus Christ and by the word of our testimony, we've overcome the devil. By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Now I declare according to Nahum 1 9, the attack cannot return a second time. In Jesus' name, give them shalom, shalom, God. Perfect peace to those whose mind is set on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. God, fill everybody with the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. Thank Woo. you, Rep. So much. Is there anything else that you want to share with us at Hamilton Radio? Uh, Any yeah. upcoming events do you have? Uh, well, I'm going to be preaching in uh, Winder, Georgia. I'm going to be... I'll be letting y'all know ahead of time about that. But um, I've got a lot of events actually coming up. I'm actually getting ready to head to one right now. But I'm... I'm going to have all the information about upcoming events on my Facebook page so people can actually go and check out my Facebook page for upcoming events. But if anybody feels led to write to me and ask me about more information, if you have any questions about the book or any questions about me on this radio show today, you can write to me, Kid Henry, K-I-D-D-H-E-N-R-Y, 617 at gmail.com. Wow. Well, thank you so much on behalf of Hamilton Radio. Thank you so it, much. It's an honor to to know you as the Reverend, first of all. Oh, thank you. And, and I'm blessed to have witnessed your sermons and blessed to have you as a friend. And knowing that you're a cousin of the late, talented Johnny Cash. <laughs> thank you, man. Good man. He's a good man. Yes. And, um... Thank you so much, Doc G. We thank Kid Henry, Reverend Kid Henry, for being on our show. Amen. Um, go, go with the light of God. Enjoy.